Minimal spare equipment includes a cassette, chain, cleats, and a spare hanger. Bring tires and tubes, especially different tires for mud. Bring caliper rotors, brake pads, rear derailleur, front derailleur, shifters, and wheels for the tech pit. Test the headset adjustment. Headset should turn smoothly without binding or play. If play is detected, isolate the source of play, either in the bearing system or in the fork sliders. Check security of handlebar bolts. Do not over tighten and use a torque wrench when possible. Check tightness of stem bolts. Again, do not over tighten. Check security of levers by attempting to rotate. Levers should not easily move. Check security of grips. Check bars for any cracks or bends. Bar end plugs must be present and secure. Check saddle rail bolts for security. Inspect rails of saddle for bending. Inspect saddle body for cracks. Check seat post security in frame. Saddle should not easily twist in frame. Adjust as necessary. Grab the wheel and pivot laterally, checking for bearing play. Spin the wheel, checking for roughness, grinding, or vibrations in the bearings. Service as necessary. Remove wheel, inspect the skewer shaft for bends, and inspect lever. Lubricate skewer cam. Remove tires and inspect front and rear rim tape and tubeless rim strips for damage. Replace as necessary. Rotate wheels while secured to the frame, fork, or in a truing stand. Check your rims for any lateral or radial deviations or damage. Have a professional mechanic check your wheels for proper spoke tension and spoke tension balancing. Check alignment of brake pads to rotor. Check all brake caliper mounting bolt security. Check rotor bolt security or security of rotor lock ring. Pull brake pads and inspect. Replace any worn pads as necessary. Spin rotors and check for adequate alignment. Replace rotors as necessary. Inspect rotor and replace if there is any noticeable wear. Inspect all brake line for damage or leakage. Check compression nut for security. Visually inspect your rear derailleur, noting condition of outer and inner cage plates, derailleur hanger alignment, and upper guide and lower tension pulley wear. Inspect your derailleur inner cable and housing for proper routing and condition. Replace when damaged, frayed, kinked, or housing link issues are present. Secure all derailleur mounting hardware, including derailleur hanger bolt, derailleur mounting bolt, cable pinch bolt, upper guide and lower tension pulley bolts. Service or replace rear derailleur as necessary. 
Pull chain off of a large chain ring. If radiator moves or entire chain ring tooth is visible, chain is worn and should be replaced. Inspect each and every rivet, roller, and side plate of chain for wear or damage, even on a new chain. Major chain for wear and replace as necessary. Start by checking shifting performance of both your inner and outer limit screw settings and indexing tension settings. After testing performance with the shift lever, test limit screw settings by pushing radiator towards inner and outermost cogs. This shifting with force will stress your limit screw settings. Remember, never allow your chain to shift into your spokes or frame. Check front derailleur cage height over chain rings. Check cage rotation to chain rings. Double check cage limit screws. Check shifting performance of front derailleur. For shift to end of limit screws, chain should not leave chain rings. Check bottom bracket bearings by grabbing both crank arms and applying lateral force to check for bearing play. With chain removed, spin cranks and check for roughness, grinding, or vibration in bearing systems. Replace bearings as necessary. Check crank arm bolts and secure your manufacturer's recommended torque settings. Rotate pedals checking bearings for roughness, grinding, or vibration. Flex pedals side to side checking for bearing play. Secure any pedal assembly hardware. Secure pedals to right and left crank arms. Inspect shoe system. Inspect laces, velcro, and straps for wear and security. Check cleats for wear and cleat mounting screw security. Inspect free hub. It should turn smoothly with good pull engagement. Check for free hub bearing play. Inspect each cog for wear and replace cassette as necessary. Check lock ring security. Cog should not appear hooked or shiny smooth at roller contact point. Rear suspension mounting hardware. Check and secure all rear suspension mounting hardware to manufacturer's recommended torque settings, including upper and lower shock eyelet bolts or nuts, shock linkage pivot bolts or nuts, bottom bracket pivot bolts or nuts, and dropout pivot bolts or nuts. Grab wheel and forcefully pivot laterally, checking swing arms, linkage, and bearings for play. Replace as necessary. Remove wheel and rear suspension. Flex rear swing assembly checking bearings, swing arm, and linkage for binding or play. Service as necessary. Check that wheels fit easily into frame and port. Thank you for your attention. Please see your checklist in your World Team Handbook. We look forward to serving you in Quebec.